Alongside the well-funded Germans, we find the British, whose whole camp seemed to be a complete shambles. Still, they were a likeable bunch who in fiction would have splendidly silly names like the Reverend Granville Spedding. As a cleric racing or in being involved in hovercraft, people do expect the weather to be better. When, when I'm involved, I sometimes say, well, working on a Sunday means that the weather might be worse. I started uh, quite a few years ago when my dad started racing. I was born. He built his first one two months before I was born. I've never done anything else. It's the best. The sport isn't that dangerous. In England we've had no fatalities at all and they've been racing for over 25 years. I broke my collarbone last year. Um, it's relatively safe for a most sport. We race fast along the water, we race fast along the land but we go straight from one to the other. No other vehicle can do that. You've got to be at one with the craft, you've got to really think about where it's going and what it's doing and if, if you lose your concentration for a split second you break your collarbone. So, who won then? Well, I'm delighted to say it was the British who walked away with a prize fund estimated to be worth absolutely nothing.